Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm so happy to be coming on today and talking to you about the transit of Saturn retrograde, which we will be having from May 23rd until October 11th of 2021. Um, I hope that you are doing really well today and are excited for a very Aquarian, very um, different type of Saturn retrograde that we have coming in. This will, of course, be um, not Saturn's very first retrograde in Aquarius, but its first uh, retrograde in middle degrees of Aquarius. Okay, so as I'm coming on to you today, Saturn is indeed at 13 degrees of Aquarius, and it's going to be retrograding back to 6 degrees. Um, last time that Saturn went retrograde, it was after it had just gotten into Aquarius and it retrograded back into Capricorn. Um, so this is really our first Saturn retrograde uh, where Saturn is in Aquarius the whole time. So it's going to have a different tone than previous Saturn retrogrades. Um, if you guys want to check out previous Saturn retrograde videos that I've done to get more hindsight on the momentum of this transit, I'll link those below and in the top right hand corner, okay? Um, and before we get into it, I have a lot of uh, really cool videos going up at the end of this month. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on. Um, and of course, you might be watching this video at any time throughout the duration of this transit or later, in which case, uh, thank you so much for your likes, comments, and subscribes. Okay. Um, so getting straight into it, we're moving kind of fast today because we've got a lot of content to um, get out for the end of May as the end of May of 2021 is really changing the game. It's really asking us some very poignant questions. It's really testing us to see if what we have committed to is what we actually want. We have a bit of an opportunity here over the next few months. Uh, really up until the end of 2021 as Jupiter and Saturn both retrograde in an interesting type of dance to definitely look at everything that we're putting our uh, momentum behind, everything that we're putting our desire behind, everything that we are fueling and pushing really hard for in life because we feel it represents some type of progress for our soul or progress for our uh, greater potential. Uh, these things are really going to get uh, tested and um, altered or adjusted perhaps in a way that is really evocative more so of what we wanted. Okay, um, so notice I'm using the past tense there, what we wanted. Um, all this retrograde energy as we move into a uh, period of months over the next four or five months with many, many retrogrades, I believe at one time we have six which will uh, break the record that 2019 did when we had five. Um, so yeah, uh, we are having a major reactivation of what we wanted before, of what we committed to before, of what we once desired uh, coming up to be reforged and made relevant to our present situation. Uh, so to me, what I'm feeling with this Saturn retrograde, because this video is focusing just on Saturn, okay, not so much on any of the other retrogrades happening, um, it really wants to merge together, being that it's in Aquarius, being that it's in the dualistic alchemical sign of Aquarius, it wants to merge together that which we once wanted and that which our present moment now uh, asks of us, okay? So to me, this looks like a blurring of the line, a blurring of line of demarcation, uh, starting to try to combine things together, starting to try to really uh, make things the full picture, the full package. Okay, that's what I'm getting, uh, the full package as well. Instead, okay, and this has been coming up in a lot of the videos, but the Saturn retrograde is really, I think, going to push it through. Instead of focusing so much on these individual aspects of our lives, we are getting a comprehensive picture. And I think that this Saturn retrograde might actually be a little bit um, tiresome for some people over these next few months if they're really struggling to give themselves the security of the full package or if they're really struggling to focus on more of the comprehensive aspect of their lives instead of these really fine focused individual things like just focusing on my relationship, just focusing on my health and letting other things kind of you know, fall apart. So this Saturn retrograde is going to really crown that theme that we've actually been talking about for a few months on this channel of getting a more comprehensive view. And it's going to uh, present a few real life situations as Saturn retrograde always tends to give a very real, either empowering or disempowering situation so that we can finally give to ourselves what, we, what we've been asking for for a while. So let's talk a little bit about some of the very uh, traditional uh, 
most often experienced themes of Saturn retrograde. So first off with Saturn retrograde, um, it's always going to re-examine the structures that we've built in our lives. Uh, so Saturn is the planet of structure. Uh, it's the planet that rules over any type of uh, fortifying or protective aspects of your life. So in that sense, the house that you live in is very much um, uh, ruled by Saturn. It's also ruled by Cancer in the fourth house, but I always like to make the distinction that Cancer and the fourth house is more of the emotional connection to the home and how the home sort of serves as an, an escape where you can really like be yourself and really uh, not adjust your projection to like how you want to be seen. Like that's more of the fourth house connection uh, cancer connection to home. Saturn is really the walls, the materials that your home is made out of, the fact that your home protects you from the elements, the fact that your home um, is uh, somewhere that you uh, have a sense of protection in. Um, so I think that the Saturn retrograde um, in Aquarius is going to really bring up the role that our homes are playing in our lives. I think it's also going to roll up, uh, it's going to play up the role of like cooking as well in the house. So this is very mundane, um, but really it's everything as well. Uh, again, Aquarius deals a lot with cooking and combining ingredients, recipes, things like that. Um, and I think that the Saturn retrograde will uh, examine how we are eating in the home, how we are cooking in the home, and also how we are... Um, what do I want to say? What emotions we're generating in the home as well. Aquarius also deals with the uh, chemical structure of anything. Again, it's alchemy. So again, I think of the body too and how certain emotions um, can uh, really affect the composition of the body. So these things are really coming up too. Uh, one thing that I would definitely uh, see with right at the beginning of the Saturn retrograde and hopefully not too far into the Saturn retrograde is a signal or a line that says, okay, this emotional purging process is over and now health really has to be pursued. Because by the middle point of this transit, so around June or July of 2021, it might start to get really, um, really heavy. If we still find ourselves in an emotional purging process in the home, if we still find ourselves um, not giving ourselves health in the home, if we still find ourselves... Um, you know, not seeking well-being in the home. Uh, that's interesting. And usually I'm not getting such a home focus with Saturn retrograde energy or Saturn energy in general. Uh, so I'm thinking that this is probably also uh, being very in effect during cancer season of this year as Saturn retrograde is happening during cancer season. So from about June 21st to July 21st, which so happens to really be the uh, depth point of this retrograde as well. I'm feeling. Um, so we're going to really be asked to look at our homes. We're going to really be asked, I think, by this transit to um, actually have a sense of protection, a sense of safety, a sense of security in the home, which to me does mean that our maybe our standards or our parameters within our homes really go up. And also um, we might just have almost a new code that we're putting ourselves through in the home, like how we uh, maybe schedule our time at home or how our time off is experienced. Things like that are really coming up with the Saturn retrograde is I feel that maybe some people um, or maybe culturally there's been a bit of a destructive, I almost want to say a destructive cultural component that's risen around the home, probably on account of having to be at home so much over the last year. Um, so I think that the Saturn retrograde will focus heavily on that. Um, other things that Saturn retrogrades tend to build up are um, authority relationships as well. So relationships with parental figures, relationships with um, anyone who has authority uh, in your life. So this could be landlords, this could be uh, bosses at work, this could be um, whoever you owe something to as well. Um, so uh, what we owe definitely comes up in this Saturn retrograde, whether that might be like money or time or uh, jobs or, or wh whatever we've kind of signed up for is coming up to really demand the full package. So uh, yes, also if you've been maybe uh, taking on extra jobs or taking on extra things, I'm really feeling that this is super prevalent right now where people are just really maxing out their time, maxing out their workload, putting so many things onto their plate. Um, I think that Saturn retrograde will maybe uh, scrap some things in your life that really aren't helping you to get further ahead or at least further toward your, your own potential and purpose. So 
as I'm starting to get into this video and starting to understand more about this Saturn retrograde, it seems really clear to me that um, minimalism is reaching a new level of positivity in a lot of people's lives. Um, minimizing your output, minimizing your spending, minimizing um, the unnecessary things, trying to waste less food, uh, trying to um, spend less frivolously or acquire things less frivolous, frivolously. It's not always spending. It can just be acquiring. Um, <clears throat> so keep that in mind. This has a lot to do with um, Saturn being an Aquarius. So Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. And before Uranus was discovered, it was ruled by Saturn. So Saturn is good in Aquarius. In that way, this Saturn retrograde is more mundane than... Um, well, actually, it rules Capricorn, too. So actually, our Saturn retrograde cycles over about since about December of 2017 have been a little bit more mild. Um, so that that's really nice to know that. And, and also knowing that the Saturn retrograde itself might be a little bit more mild. Now, when we look at some of the other retrogrades coming in, um, that may not be so much the case. But basically, as I said, it's just focusing... Um, frivolity in our life, like what we don't need yet do, what we also emote yet don't need to, like emotional addictions, like needing to have drama in your life to um, distract yourself, uh, that which distracts us, that which helps us to escape. We've got Jupiter having moved into Pisces, Neptune in Pisces. A lot of us are taking a lot of um, solace in escapism and in dreams and in... Um, you know, sort of dreaming our time away and thinking about what could be if we made certain choices, yet keeping a very distant, distinct uh, reality within that, that's going to be something that the Saturn retrograde tries to bring into perspective uh, through showing the fault in that as well. Um, it's not to say that we don't need to dream. It's not to say that we don't need that as that's a very beautiful, great thing to have. Um, but the time that you spend there and uh, how much time passes between dreaming and then choosing to fulfill that or not is a big thing. The parameter of it, basically, the the um, structure within the dreaming process, within the um, in within the visualizing process, that's going to really come up uh, this summer as well. So it's very arbitrary. It's very, uh, and it would be with Saturn and Aquarius, it's very of the mind. It's very of the nervous system. It's very, I would really work on the health of your nervous system with Saturn retrograde and Aquarius also will have Mercury retrograde at the same time um, in Gemini, I believe, actually. So the nervous system is going to be regenerating itself and possibly um, finding a new type of stimulus. And with that, I think that there will be a lot of uh, nice new discoveries to make over the duration of this Saturn retrograde. And um, if you just want to keep it simple, if you just want to um, dedicate some time over the next few months to finding the more vital, central roots, central themes of your life, that seems very effective with this transit. And to basically take those central themes, those central ideas, and build outwards uh, will usually see good good success as long as it's uh, done in a sober and thoughtful way to have the effective advancement that you've been wanting. Um, so I really think that the next few months will really advance us through uh, finishing some things that were untied or undone. And uh, as always, over the next four or five months of Saturn Retrograde, if you want to restructure, redo, refortify, or reforge something, there should be many opportunities to do that, as well as many uh, nice turnouts, nice results through fortifying and securing what you already have. So um, thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this shorter video today. If you want to check out anything else related to the channel, you can look below in the description box. I'm on Patreon. I'm on Twitter. I have a lot of other links below if you wanted to see other content. Thank you so much for your comments, likes, and subscribes. Comment below and let me know if you enjoyed the video and what your thoughts on the oncoming Saturn retrograde are. Talk to you all soon. Much love. Bye.